the service that I work in is um, a multidisciplinary team. Um, so they would generally offer someone an initial assessment with a psychiatrist who specialises in addiction. Um, if they needed to be detox off any medication or put onto a maintenance prescription, um, so methadone is an example, or buprenorphine, um, a drug like that, then that would be started. Um, a, a urine sort of toxology screen would be taken um, for that, that to be started. Um, a person would then get a key worker um, or a care coordinator, someone who would be in charge of a treatment plan for them, and they would be given support around um, sort of managing their drug use. Um, they would be regularly checked, their urine would be checked for, for drug use. Um, they'd be offered groups to attend, so um, a relapse prevention group. Um, I think we have a, a starting treatment group, so preparation for, tra for change um, group. So a variety of different options. And if a person felt that they wanted a referral to a psychologist, then that's when someone like myself would become involved, um, and and they would we would assess the person for psychological therapy. Quite often, people with addiction problems struggle to see psychologists because there's a general attitude within psychology that um, intervention with people who are currently using drugs is not really worthwhile. Um, that the person needs to be drug free for usually at least two years. Um, to be able to see a psychotherapist, for example. Um, so it can be quite tough for people to see a psychologist, um, but in the team I work in, that is possible.